Hello, I'm Vivian. Welcome to my channel. The topic of this video is political correctness. Where do I start? It's a pet peeve of mine. I do not like political correctness. I am all for good manners, being respectful, even people who least deserve your respect. I believe in looking for commonalities. I think political correctness is more divisive than um, acknowledging um, ancestry, acknowledging religions, acknowledging um, anything really. It, it, I think it's stupid for the most part. I don't understand um, since the learning of the term political correctness, I've seen more division in our country than before I heard it. It's more, it, it does, it separates us more. To say that I'm an Asian American and someone's an African American, someone's a European American, someone's a Latin American, Hispanic American, I'm not sure which is the correct one there. And it becomes, it becomes a landmine, uh, a field of landmines when you're trying to be politically correct and not offend somebody by going, well, Vivian's an Asian American. Well, that doesn't acknowledge the half that's not. How about we just call me an American? Every woman I meet is a daughter. I'm a daughter. I can relate as a daughter to every other woman on this planet as a daughter. As a mother, every woman that's a mother, I can relate, you know, we have commonalities. If we've gone through childbirth, if we've gone through, you know, raising a child, there we have so much more in common with the next person, no matter what their skin color or religion is. We have more in common than we have different differences. And I think political correctness magnifies what's different about a person that doesn't need to be magnified. You know, we can all be proud of our heritages and still be Americans. Imagine that. No, my experience as American is not common to pretty much most other Americans. Unless you came here as a six-year-old child from a different country that spoke a different language and you're a half-breed, your experience is not going to be like mine. And mine is among the very minor minorities. So, having such a different background, does that put me into a little, little small group? that makes me more special than everybody else? No, that's ridiculous. So I don't like political correctness. I believe in treating everybody, especially those that don't deserve respect, treating them with respect. It's amazing when you know that this person is not expecting you to be respectful. They expect you to say something mean or cutting or we, we use the term smart but it mean it's really mean you're being you know you're being a smart aleck no you're being mean um that's i mean that's what it means but when you treat somebody who doesn't respect you know and you sit there and you actually listen to, it is amazing um you only you hear me talk, but I'm really a better listener than I am a talker, and I can talk. But I love hearing people's stories. I love looking at their albums. It's like, I know that's kind of crazy, but I do, I actually, and I look, I'm not pretending to look. I'm looking, and I'm not looking, it's like, and I ask questions. And I'm actually listening. I, I'm not, I've, I've learned not to, to be thinking about how I'm gonna respond. It's like, okay, when they're done, I'll respond at that point. And being told, you're such a good listener. You really helped me. Thank you for listening. Uh, um, 
I'll even ask you, do you want me to give you what I think you should do? Or do you just, you know, we're okay right at this point. You know, what do you want from, what do you want from me at this point? It's okay. People appreciate that because a lot of times they know. I, none of my friends are such idiots they don't know the solutions to their problems that they're whining about to me. I whine back. It's okay. Um, I know my solutions. I know. And I even have a, I even have a parable. I made up myself. I, I, I've Googled it. I've not seen anyone else say it. There are more solutions than there are problems. <sighs> did, that, did that wake you up? And political correctness is not one of the solutions. It's an option, but it's not a solution to anything that I know of. Listening, being respectful, manners, simple, polite manners. Is that an act? No, it's how we're supposed to behave. How do you want to be treated? Yeah, some people are fine with being cussed out and disrespected they're like okay fine they, they do that to other people and people do it back to them it's okay um friends that cut you know that cut each other that bothers me i don't think that's good you know we should be building people up and it's okay to you know once in a while say a funny thing and, and know that it's a joke and it's not you know you got to be careful it goes back to being cruel or humor but i look for commonalities you know we're all, we all have parents. Now we're, I'm now at the age, my, both my parents are gone. Um, we only have my um, husband's mother and stepmother now. Both very, very wonderful women on such opposite extremes of personalities. And, it, and just trying to you know, honor them love them where they're at but a lot of our friends are now losing you know have lost their parents or losing you know at that end um, because we're reaching that age we have that commonality some of us like like I was last year are caring for a parent so the roles have reversed they're now in the parent position while the parent is now in the child position needing to be taken care of to whatever level they're no longer independent can't live by themselves. <clears throat> and I don't care what culture you come from, what continent your parents, grandparents, or whatever, far back where they came from, how they came here, willingly, unwillingly. Uh, we can find more things in common with each other if we get rid of some of these other labels. If we come into each other as, as a parent, as someone who wants better for the community, as someone who's trying to raise children, you know, the, to the best of their ability to be good citizens themselves, to be good adults when they're grown, we can come together as, as children of parents, whatever stage of life we're in, we we have parents and a lot of us amazingly no matter how different our backgrounds how well we got along with our parents as kids or how well we got along with them as adults there is so much that we have in common no matter what part of the united states no matter what part of canada no matter what part of mexico no matter what part of europe or asia asia that's the culture there is very different from here still is even with all the westernization and all the influences of television and hollywood but we got more in common than we do in differences and i think political correctness causes us to focus hyper focus on one little aspect that doesn't need to be that much focused on you know yes that Take what you will, you know. I, I don't like questionnaires that ask me what um, ethnicity, race. It'll say race. We're all of the human race. We all bleed red. We all, it, it's um, a peeve of mine. I really don't like that whole 
political correctness nonsense. And it just irks me. What do you think of it? Is there, am I overlooking something? I mean, I don't mind being corrected as long as you're kind about it. No name calling. Um, so, again, did I overlook something? Is there a benefit to political correctness that I don't know about? Because I don't know of one. So obviously, if you know one, you got one up that I don't. Thanks for watching.